Hey everybody, it's Lisa from Simply Lisa B. And I know you've all been waiting for this video because I had my test results done. And you know, the results are kind of so-so. I'm not, um, not exactly thrilled with the results, but I'm happy on one part. So I'm gonna tell you, um, first off, I've been sent to a, um, a specialist, an endo doctor. And the reason being is that one test that she did that I asked her to take last year and she didn't and then I asked her again this year to take was high. Not abnormally high, um, but you know what, but it did, it showed markers that were a little bit higher so she wants me to go to a specialist. But here's my thing, if we would have done this test uh, two years ago or last year, you know, I would have some kind of a um, a pattern, you know, because I'm I'm gonna tell you right now, all my TSH, my TS free, my T um, my T free, T three free, T four free, T three, T four, TSH are all normal, and all of the not all of them. Uh, my TSH was um, elevated pretty high um, six months ago, so. Starting six months ago, I started doing this elaborate work and research and finding people and talking to people and doing things. And had we had a marker, even just six months ago, of my antibodies, I probably would show that they've been reduced. But because I don't have any indicator, then that kind of means that um, they show high. So I'm going to go to the specialist. I'm not thrilled about it. But... I'm gonna go, my kids are telling me I should go and I should listen. <laughs> but I've already got a list of questions. And you know what, there's nothing wrong with being safe. And um, you know, I'm sure that he's gonna want to do the um, thyroid uptake, which is basically I swallow a pill, which I'm not thrilled about, but I'll have charcoal ready afterwards so that I can get rid of all the toxins. And um, it has a small bit of radioactivity in it. and. Um, or I'm sorry, radioactive ingredients in it. And what it does is it sends tracers through your bloodstream and into your thyroid. And then they take x-rays of your thyroid and see how um, everything's kind of going in and out of there. Um, I had some EOS levels that were high, but I knew that I was already going through something, um, you know, in my body as far as like some infection or something. So I kind of already knew that. So I'm not concerned about that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it was, but it was like a cold sore and I was just kind of feeling down. So I already knew that and that's already been gone. So the thing I'm learning from all of this is it's not a fast process, especially if you're doing something um, holistically to take care of yourself. I mean, I could have popped a pill six months ago and been normal all the way around, but I don't want to do that. And that my whole thing is I don't want to take any medicines and I'm trying to avoid that the best that I can. I want to find doctors that are going to work with me. And unfortunately, I'm learning too that it's not only the doctors, it's the um, insurance companies. Because I had one test done and it was just testing for, um, you know, like blood. And it could have tested for so many other things than the blood. It could test it for, um, you know, the vitamins or um, immunities. It could have tested for parasites, all kinds of things. But because the insurance companies don't allow it, which is stupid, um, you know, they just test it for just one little, you know, little, little area. So... In that, I want to be honest with you, and I want to be open, and I don't want to be all fake. I'm not. I'm not concerned. Um, I'm more concerned, you know, having to go to a specialist and taking the time off work to have some work done, um, you know, that kind of a thing. I don't like intrusions into my life most of the time, so. I just wanted to touch base because a lot of you have been asking and I've gotten a few emails and a lot of texts and I appreciate I appreciate it so much and I'm so glad that you guys are following me on my journey and I already know that this has helped so many people and I'm thrilled about that. So in transparency, you know, I got to be honest with you and so this is where I'm at. So a lot of my levels are great. I mean, all of my blood panel is really good. Um my blood pressure was a little bit low 
And I kind of laughed at that because one of the reasons, one of the ways to get your blood pressure back up is to eat salt. And everyone knows that I just adore salt. And that reminded me of um, a book that I had read a while ago. Um, I think it's called Eat Your Blood Type. And basically, O positive people love and desire salt. So, you know, I'm not going to eat any more salt, though. I'm sure it was just one of those things. Plus, I was fasting. And when you fast, everything kind of lowers and more levels out. And because you have to fast 12 hours before the, um, well, from midnight on for the test. And I didn't take any of my supplements or anything because I didn't want any of that messing up my results. So that's where we're at. And I'm going to the um, endocrinologist tomorrow. And I'll let you know more about that. And he better be prepared. I have some questions. And I hope he has questions for me, you know, and I, and I hope it ends up being a good relationship, you know, if I have to stick with one or not. And that's about it. So the journey continues. And again, I thank you all for your support and your help. And, um, you know, the emails were just fantastic. And I was actually stuck at work. And we had a power outage here. And I wasn't really able to get back to anybody. And I figured this was the best way to do it. But Honestly, I personally answer each and every email, every text, every Instagram comment. I'm there. So if you have anything for me, if you have any questions, um, I will do my best. I'm not a medical doctor. I don't play one on the internet, so I won't answer any medical questions. But I will tell you what I'm doing. Um, oh, my vitamin D was a little bit low. And that was another thing. She, The last time I was there, she's like, um, she's like um, make sure your vitamin D is okay okay, how do I do that? And I know the number one reason, one number one way to get your vitamin D up is to spend 20 minutes in the sun during the summer hours every day um, between 10 and 2, I believe is the times. And I had been doing that. And again, it was a little bit low. I think the low marker is 30 point, 30 point, and I was like 28.5. And so she wants me to take some vitamin D and that's fine. But again, had we done that six months ago, a year ago, had it been part of my normal screening, I would have an indicator as to whether I was doing better at that or worse because I have been spending a lot more time in the sun. I personally feel that it probably my markers were a lot lower and they're actually doing better now. But I went out and bought some um, vitamin D and of course I'm going to keep going in the sun and she wants me to come back in two months and redo my blood work for that. So here we go. Um, I hope, I really hope you guys are having a great day. I'm working on uh, salvaging food for my refrigerator because my power was out for so long and picking up a lot of sticks. We had a really, really powerful, powerful storm go through here. Probably one of the worst I've seen um, since I experienced a tornado back home quite a few years ago. And I really thought my house was going to like just move and just go off the foundation. So I went into the basement. I don't normally do that. And it was okay for a while. And so then, you know, I came upstairs and I had to go to work. And so for like our power was out like my whole day at work and I came home and, you know, tried to salvage what I could and get things done around here, went out and picked up sticks and watched Game of Thrones on my phone. That was an experience. And so that's life, you know? So life sometimes throws us little ups and downs and things like that. But I just wanted to touch base, as I said again. And if you have any questions for me, let me know. And I will talk to you later. You guys, have a great day. And I mean that. Bye.